What's going on sports card collectors? Trying something different if my eyes are looking the wrong way because I'm looking at the screen and I think the camera is opposite of where I'm looking. I may flip flop it around so I'm not staring at it as much. Uh, I'm trying to get consistent. Uh, this is Kevin again with Ultimate Flips. We did change our name from KB Sports Cards. Uh, so we're in the middle of that changeover. And today I'm going to discuss um, eBay's promotions. Um, I opened my mouth up the last time I did a video. It said I dropped down to 3% and my sales of all of a sudden started to increase. And that was dropping them from 10% down to 3%. And the powers to be must have been listening because since I've done that video, I watched my order steadily decline to the point where I have not sold anything in the last two or three days now. Uh, so part of that is also my fault because I have not listed anything new. Um, I have ended quite a few of my um, listings and then sold them as a similar and then deleted those listings that I ended. Uh, so it looks like a new listing, but I revamped them, changed the title, or just tweaked some things. Um, I also want to talk about um, card condition. Um, while we sell other stuff besides sports cards, majority of our items are sports cards. And now eBay has this big thing by October, or I think it is, that you need to start putting the condition so I'm going to discuss that as well, but I thought first maybe I would share some previous mail days that I've got in uh, to kind of catch up a little bit, and uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, some of these are raw cards that I got in, so I picked up this um, at the beginning of the season. Um, Aaron Judge, of course, the Yankees aren't doing so great. Um, I believe actually this Drew Jones was a uh, pack pull that I opened. Um, yes, I did pick up a raw Wander Franco, which is all up in the air. Um, I picked this up um, before the season started, uh, Mark Canna, and then uh, I, I actually pulled this out of a pack, this Tristan Cassis, so rookie card autograph. Uh, this I bought online, Brandon Lowe um, with the Mariners. I didn't buy it so much because of the player as much as I thought the logo was pretty cool on there, but Brandon Lowe's halfway decent for the Mariners anyways, and it is numbered. Uh, sorry, I'm looking around the camera here. I can't even read the number. Number out of 25. So that's kind of pretty cool. So then the rest of these are graded cards. Three of them that I sent in raw to PSA. Um, two of them I purchased from Tops Now. Um, and then the other one I bought raw off of eBay. Uh, so I'll reveal these. And then the other two cards that I'm going to show you first, um, I bought off of Starstock. And then I had them ship the graded cards to me. I left the raw cards still at Starstock. So um, one of them I picked up fairly inexpensive was Cam Reddish. Uh, Silver Prison graded a 10 off of Starstock. I really think that going to the Lakers is going to be huge for him uh, as a Lakers fan, but he's just got a lot of upside and potential. Uh, so I figured I'd jump on that bandwagon a little bit because this could be the time where he flips it and turns it around. And then you can't go wrong with the Rano Acuna. Uh, this is a 2018 Topps Chrome. Actually, this is my second one that I have. I, I have one up in my display case. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is, I see my display case looks like the, the graded cards move forward in the case. But anyways, Probably what I'll do is maybe my next video is just give you a short tour of my area. Uh, I don't have a shed. I don't have a two-car garage. I have a little office that contains all my stuff. So uh, maybe I'll give you a tour of that the next time. So those were off of Starstock. And then um, I bought a bunch of those um, Victor Wembeyama um, tops now when he threw out the first pitch for the Yankees. Um, thought this was an opportunity to get in on a card. Um, I think I bought 10 of them. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I think 10 of them. And I sold a bunch already online between eBay, eBay and Macari. I decided to take two cards out for myself and send them to PSA. And they both came back a PSA 10. So I do have one more left that's raw that I have not graded. Um, I think I pulled it off the listing online too because I'm trying to debate whether I want to send it into BGS sell it raw or send it into SGC because I think the black tuxedo would look good too. And then the other one was this Paolo Bancaro um, Prism Red. I bought this online raw and uh, it came back for this red ice. It came back a PSA 10. So um, I was pretty happy with that. I have one more order with PSA. Uh, I don't send a lot with PSA. Again, still SGC. Oh, I got to stop hitting the camera thing. Um, SGC is still my primary go-to. 
Um, but the turnaround times with PSA, I think it was 60 days, still better than six months or a year like they were at one point in time. But uh, uh, let me just flip the screen around since I don't have anything else so I can see the screen if it lets me. It doesn't let me. So anyways, so let's let's talk about the um, the card conditions that eBay wants you to convert and anything pre-existing that you haven't put a condition to. So I am not a expert in judging of graded cards or necessarily card condition. I get the basics of it, you know, the left, right, the up, down, the corners, you know, surface and, and, and whatnot, the basics. But um, I hate having to put on there what I believe, because again, it's what I believe the card condition is only for someone to buy it and say, well, you said it was this and it's not that. Well, that's your opinion against my opinion. And I really hate that. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess I could start putting in my listings, you know, please view the card for the best depict depiction of the, of the uh, card grade or condition. Um, so there's been some of my cards, especially older cards that I have been ending and then doing a sell similar. Um, they're like 90s NBA hoops and 90s, 94, 95, all the way up to 95, I guess, basketball cards. Some of them are really in, in near mint to mint or better condition. But I just get nervous with that uh, because I didn't pull it out of the pack. And so I've been putting them as excellent. Uh, so if somebody buys the cards and it's listed as excellent, you're more than likely going to be surprised or probably very happy to find out that it's in better condition than excellent. Uh, but then again, it might turn people off and not want to buy it. But I'm hoping they're looking closely at the pictures and say, man, this guy's got it listed as excellent. That looks more like near mint or better. I'm going to buy the card. I don't know. We'll see. Because um, I'm slow but sure starting to convert over. Um, my listings that I have on there, I think there's over 6,600 cards listed. Um, I should say items, but majority of them are sports cards. And I got to get these uh, converted over because I don't know if eBay is going to do it or if they're going to end my listing or what's going to happen. And that'd be a big chunk of change to end uh, thousands of listings. And, that, and you can't list them until you put the condition back on. So I guess I'll have to look more into that. And then I went and bragged and boasted about uh, dropping my promotion from 10% down to 3%. And then all of a sudden my sales kicked in and I was doing, and, and for me, this is, this is, I have a full-time job. So this is very part-time still. And I would love to eventually uh, switch to a part-time job and make this more my full-time job. Um, I got a ways to go yet, but we're, 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 I think we're working towards that. But anyway, so I bragged and boasted. I don't know if eBay was listening or they watched my video. And then all of a sudden it was like, they put the clamps on. Now, I, I have a lot of um, numbers going up as far as I can make offers to individuals, uh, but sales just all of a sudden just stopped. So again, some of that's my fault because I have not put any quote unquote new listings on. And I have I have a bunch of uh, Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith cards that um, I have taken pictures of that I need to list. Uh, so I probably will end up start doing that. But I was ending listings and then selecting sell similar, which makes it look like a new listing, especially when I'm changing the title around and then adding in the conditioning and stuff. So I thought maybe that would constitute adding new listings. I think it does. But for some reason, now all of a sudden my sales have stopped. So we will work towards getting the sales going, I will start adding on. I, my, my goal, for those of you who wonder, I usually try to add 10 cards or 10 items a day, new items a day on. There's some days where I can put you know, 50 to 100, 150 on because it's a slower day or it's my day off. And then it might be the days that I work, I might only get five or 10 a day on. So my days off, I truly try to ramp it up to offset in case I can't on the days that I work. And I work the night shift. Uh, so that throws in the monkey wrench too, because I work 6 p.m. to 4 a.m., um, four tens, four days a week. And so, yeah, you, those that work the night shift understand, especially with shift work. So um, that is all I have for this time. Um, again, I'm trying to do is be more consistent. Uh, so at least try to do once a week um, and then try to maybe do twice a week, you know, and so, so on and so forth and build up and then take you on the journey like others have and it's been successful. And I still enjoy watching them as well. Um, their daily uh, journey as well, what they're doing with eBay store or where they're buying their inventory and stuff. So if you have not hit subscribed and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and please do that. It's free. doesn't cost you anything and it definitely helps us out. Give us a like, hit that notification button so you can be notified the next time that we do post a video. I do appreciate the feedback, appreciate the support. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy.